Heavy trucks head toward the mine through cheering crowds. They carry special drilling equipment and ride on the faith of an anxious nation. Two small shafts have already been drilled about half a mile straight down to where the miners are waiting. These channels act as a sort of umbilical cord so that rescuers can deliver capsules of medicine, food, water and communications equipment. That provides a chance to hear from the men deep underground. The trapped miners applauded the rescuers above and even sang the national anthem. And in return, the Minister of Mines encouraged them. To reach the miners nearly 2,300 feet down, rescuers plan to use a larger drill to slowly bore down as much as 100 feet per day. The tunnel will be 26 inches wide, but once rescue equipment is lowered, miners will only have about 19 inches of space in which to squeeze. They have to go slow um, because the mine has already collapsed. And so not knowing the condition of the mine and the area where they're going to drill, they don't want to cause the mine to further collapse. Chilean officials say the delicate operation could take up to four months. Meanwhile, loved ones wait near the mine in a makeshift village, aptly named Camp Hope. Right now, that's all many have. Seth Doan, CBS News, New York.